Welcome back to movementprofessional.com. So this is a Russian Indian strength challenge. All right, so we're gonna do a total of 300 reps. You're gonna do 100 reps of double kettlebell snatches. So the prescribed weight for the challenge for men is gonna be two round 35 pound kettlebells. So somewhere, you know, if you're doing it in kilograms, it would be about a 16 kilo and you want two of them. All right, we're gonna do bilateral snatches. We're gonna do 100 there. All right, so the snatch is gonna look like this if we break it down. All right, you're gonna get right on top of the bells, swing back between the legs, pull up, catch in an overhead position. All right, so if we break a snatch down, you wanna think high pull, and then sneak underneath, and you're finishing high. So if you're doing that, with two, it's a bilateral high pull, and then you sneak up overhead. So it's not a swing out in front and pull in, it's pull into your body like you're doing a high pull, and then catch up overhead, finishing strong through the midline, sort of like the letter X when you're up top, okay? When you catch a kettlebell overhead, try not to be thumb forward, if anything, dominant, Try to get the thumb back, all right? But if it's neutral, it's better than thumb forward. All right, when you're doing a bunch of reps, it's, it's gonna be hard to be perfect with the thumb back every time, especially bilaterally. Shoulder mobility won't allow for it, but just make sure that the thumb's not migrating forward, all right? So you got 100 there. This is by far gonna take the longest. All right, so break it up. I recommend using chalk for your hands. And when you re-rack, come down to the shoulders first so that you're not throwing it down. That's gonna put a lot of drag in the hand. It might make you go a little bit faster, but you have a lot of volume, so re-rack it to the shoulders, go back down between the legs. All right, so we got 100 there. Once you get through your 100, get to the Indian club. We're gonna do movement one with two clubs. All right, so get a good stable position. Midline's stable and in a good straight line from the feet down to the head so you're not overextended and you're not slouched through here. All right? So I like to take about a shoulder with stance, maybe a little bit of a toe out, screw my feet down through the ground, I feel like I'm pushing my feet down through the ground, crown of the head to the ceiling. Start in this position, this is called home, wrap your pinky around, neutral wrists, trace the elbows in, now you're touching, you're getting close to touching your head in this overhead position, the clubs are facing down, they're going down your spine, all right, but not touching each other. And if you reach your thumb out, you should be able to touch the side of your head. And then rewrap the thumb, cast position. So you're making a little gun with your index finger touching the club. And the club is an extension of that index finger, your thumb is up. Keep your palms up, cross. When you cross here, that's your count. So this would be one. And then you circle them back up to home. All right, and then try to cross opposite each time. So I would go slow with this so it doesn't turn into some type of disaster of whirling dervish there. Just try to stay pretty good with the technique, pretty precise. As you feel like you got the flow, you can go a little bit faster. All right, so this is gonna be very fatiguing on the shoulder girdle and the upper body, especially if you're not used to it. And if you're not used to these movements, just practice the positions and transitions. Go as slow as you can. Don't worry about your time so much. All right, so you got 100 of these. And then we're gonna move on to another Indian tool. All right, so you got kettlebells, which are Russian, Indian clubs, which are obviously Indian, and then you got a mace, which is also an Indian tool originally. All right, so we're gonna do a 360 around the world. Start in front of your face, and you just go behind the head. So if you're looking at it from behind, I'm basically pointing it down it swings by my butt, and then I pull it right back to chest or belly level, all right? So I'm gonna shoot it over between my ear and my shoulder, goes back around, and it's just a flow, okay? So you're tight here, so this isn't wobbling around, but you kind of relax as you fly around your body, and there's a little bit of a rotation happening there, all right? So every 10 or so, and you can switch whenever you want, switch which hand is on top, and go the other way. So you got 100 total. 
All right, after you're done with 100 of these, you stop the clock, see where you're at. All right, so I finished in 1326. Try to get it under 15 minutes. And unless you're brand new to these movements, then just work on the technique. If you have any questions, reach out to me at movementprofessional.com. See you next time.